Hello and welcome to the Big Basket World Cup series. My name is Jyoti Varney. I'm a food blogger and a home baker here in Bangalore. Today we're going to be cooking from a country that has won the World Cup up to five times. Yes, I'm talking about Australia. Australian cuisine is a melting pot of many cultures. You have European, Indian, Asian and whatnot. Today I'm going to be baking an iconic culinary dish which is known as the Lamingtons. Fun fact, do you know that this dish was prepared as a mistake by one of the maid servants in Lord Lamington, who used to be the governor of Queensland. So come on and let's get started baking this culinary icon today. I'm going to start making the batter. I have uh, about 125 grams of softened butter. This is unsalted. To this, we are going to add caster sugar, which is again about 125 grams. And we're going to blend this until the consistency is fluffy, light. What the caster sugar does in any cake batter is it basically helps in incorporating air, which helps to get the cake a light and fluffy texture. Please note that you do not have to interchange the caster sugar with the icing sugar because chemically they have a different composition. We're going to beat this up until the mixture becomes light and pale in color and has a smooth, shiny texture to it. Once the butter starts to turn light and pale, you will notice that it starts to form ripples. That's when you know you can move on to add the next ingredient. I have over two eggs over here and this is again at room temperature. We're going to incorporate this one egg at a time. That's egg number one. Ensure that it blends in really well and the mixture does not curdle. Once your first egg has mixed really well, we go on to add the vanilla essence so that we do not get the egg odor when the cake bakes. So I'm going to be adding about one tablespoon of vanilla extract to my butter and sugar mixture. One tablespoon. I'm going to add in the next egg. Once your egg and butter mixture is ready, we will start folding in the dry ingredients. First, I'm going to be adding about one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to be adding in the flour into parts so that they do not fall and form any lumps. And at this point, I'm going to use a spatula. Fold in the mixture gently. Ensure that there are no dry lumps of the flour and you get a smooth, creamy consistency. Make sure you swirl through the bowl and lift up so that in case there are any ingredients lying at the bottom, they also get incorporated with the rest. We're going to add the second portion of the flour. And finally, the rest of the flour. And now a lamented batter is ready and we can pour this into a greased tin. So we have about eight inch of baking tray, which has been well greased with butter and we will be transferring the lamington batter into this. Once you're done with the layering, just give it a gentle tap and this goes into the oven at 180 degrees centigrade and bakes about 15 to 20 minutes until it forms a golden crust and a skewer inserted in the center comes out nice and clean. So once you've removed the tray from the oven, ensure that it completely cools down and before demolding, the cake needs to sit in the tin for about 20 minutes or so and then we will refrigerate it for a minimum of two hours or best left overnight because this will help us in slicing the cake evenly without any crumbles. So the next element in making the lamingtons is the chocolate coating. I have about 25 grams of unsalted butter. To this I'm going to add about six tablespoons of whole fat milk, which is at room temperature. Now we're going to simmer this until the butter melts and just about comes to a boil. Ensure that the butter is completely melted and that there are no lumps. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to start adding seed cocoa powder and maida. Keep stirring until this turns into a smooth, shiny texture and our sauce is ready to be coated with the slices of lamingtons. I'm going to transfer this into a container that's going to make the coating an easier process and let this cool for some time. And we're going to start slicing this into squares. 
So if we move on to the final step of making in the lamingtons, my sauce is cooled. I have one cup of desiccated coconut and these are the sliced cakes. So what I'm going to do is coat them into the chocolate sauce and let them stay for a while and later on again give them a coating with the desiccated coconut. So I've chosen a deep bowl so that it makes the coating an easier process. Just simply drop them into this. Use a blunt butter knife to roll them in because any sharp object will literally make the sponge break or crumble. I'm gently coating them with the chocolate sauce that we just prepared. So this has been sitting for about an hour right now and the excess chocolate sauce has uh, dipped through and we're going to start sprinkling in the desiccated coconut. Gently press in a little so that it sticks to the chocolate sauce and you get a nice even coating. Once you've coated all your lamington pieces, let it sit again in the refrigerator for about an hour before serving. So my lamingtons are all set. I'm just going to give it a final coating of summer desiccated coconut. If you do not like desiccated coconut, you can also try it with chocolate sprinkles or some roasted pistachios. This is the Aussie classic lamington. Thank you for watching the Big Basket special. Stay tuned for more.